Last week we did a video centered around the 32 inch Samsung M8 smart monitor. And since it was half the price of the studio display, it seemed like pretty good value, even though the image quality wasn't quite as good as the Retina 5K display that you get with Apple Studio display. Now today we have this new Dell 27 inch ultra sharp monitor that is also in the 600 price point. And even though it's not going to act as a smart TV replacement like Samsung smart monitor, it could still be a very intriguing option out there for those of you who are looking for a monitor for your Mac and as an alternative for Apple Studio Display. I highly recommend checking out our Samsung M8 video. You can click the card here in the upper right corner if you haven't already. But unlike that monitor, the Dell 27 inch Ultra Sharp is much more traditional in looks. It's not going to wow anyone with its design, but it does have very slim bezels in the front. There actually is no branding on the monitor or actually on the display part itself. You can find that on this unique thin aluminum stand here at the bottom. Now the back of the monitor is this white plastic looking material that's pretty traditional and in line with what Dell does with most of its monitors. But the best part about the back of the monitor is where all the ports are. It is port city over here. I mean, this is actually called a USB-C hub monitor, which means you probably don't need an external hub or dock for your Mac as there are plenty of ports available like an HDMI and display port, a USB-C port, as well as two additional USB-C ports, one downstream and one upstream. There's an ethernet port, three 10 gigabit USB type A and a super speed type A port and just too many more ports to name. So you have countless options available for your Mac if you need it. It is also worth mentioning that the USB power delivery from this monitor is rated at 90 watts. Unfortunately, there is no webcam or speaker, so you'll need to bring your own when it comes to audio and video connectivity. The monitor does offer full on height and tilt adjustments, as well as the ability to rotate this monitor to a vertical position for those who are interested in using this monitor in portrait over landscape. And that's something that really the 1599 studio display can't offer unless you make configurations at checkout. And even if you want to do it later, you'll have to go to the Apple store and pay more money to you know compensate for that. So just something to keep in mind, you get that all at the $600 price point. Overall though, on the design, I think I've been spoiled by the last few monitors that I've used recently, like the Pro Display XDR, the Studio Display most re recently being a beautifully constructed and just an all around nice looking monitor, the premium materials, the minimum look, etc. Even Samsung's M8 monitor, which borrows design cues from an iMac, is still a nice looking monitor to fit in anyone's space. There's nothing wrong with Dell's monitor in terms of how it looks or is constructed, but a lot of the monitors that I just mentioned were not only good monitors, but also design pieces to kind of fit in your house and look really nice or your office or wherever it might be. And it's just not nearly the same level that you're getting with this. It's just like most monitors out there. It's a little boring in design and that's okay. I'll take boring monitors any day of the week if all monitors in this price point can look as good as this Dell Ultra Sharp. I mean, it's the most important part of a monitor anyways is the image quality. So I am happy that if they're not gonna put resources into a good design, put it into the display. And the Dell Ultra Sharp is a 27 inch 3840 by 2160 60 Hertz monitor with IPS black technology. Now, according to Dell, it's one of the first 27 inch 4K monitors to feature IPS black. Now it's definitely still not close to an OLED panel, but I will say, it is a pretty impressive IPS display. The large 2000 to one contrast ratio is definitely noticeable. The colors are bright and vibrant and the blacks are rich and deep for an IPS display especially. Even the light bleed is pretty minimal and just not nearly as noticeable as some of the other monitors in this price point. And it's also incredibly color accurate at 100% Rec 709 and sRGB and 98% for DCI P3. Now the brightness is only 400 nits, which is the same as Samsung's M8 monitor. And honestly, most monitors in this size and price point, but it is less than Apple's 600 nits of peak brightness. But I honestly feel like this monitor looks pr plenty bright for day to day use, especially if you don't have a lot of glare and reflections. So there's no real issues there. It's also VESA certified HDR monitor. And unfortunately I'd say HDR content on this monitor isn't the best. In some instances, the highlights seem to get just too bright, washing out the image, the colors, um, it's just getting too bright in those areas all around. So if you're editing or working with a lot of HDR content, this might not be the best option for you, but of course that's just my opinion. So it's worth definitely picking up and seeing if it can fit with your workflow. 
Overall, the image quality is really, really good. Especially, again, I keep mentioning, I believe this monitor right now retails at Dell's website for $654. I know the HDR, as I mentioned, was a bit of a bummer, but for everyday use, it's a fantastic monitor. It's bright, sharp, has incredible color contrast, and even though it's not an OLED monitor, you can definitely see the improvement with this IPS black technology, and I'd say it's pretty close for most of us out there. I use this monitor for the last few weeks, editing videos, photos, and just, you know, all around everyday work tasks, so emails, uh, browsing the web, doing some research, all of that worked perfectly fine, and I really did love it. Now, the no built-in webcam is a minor inconvenience, but an inconvenience worth noting if you take a lot of video calls. I was also a bit spoiled with the studio display speakers. Um, having to dig up some external speakers to compensate for the lack of speakers is also a bit of a hassle, but these are, again, just minor cons for a monitor that truly produces a great image. If you think the studio display is just a bit too much and you want something that's half the price with a great 4K panel, I would definitely recommend checking out this Dell 27 inch ultra sharp monitor. Of course, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, are you looking at getting this over the studio display or do you have something like this already? Which one is it? Maybe we'll check it out. Please let us know in the comments down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.